What's going on guys? GeoSnowry here. So in today's video I'm going to show you a so-called iOS 10.3 jailbreak uh, available on a website that apparently makes use of IPSWs and iMobile device or Libi mobile device components. So this one is pretty interesting uh, considering the fact that it uses these libraries in here. So we're going to take a look on it to see whether it's safe or not or whether it's a hoax or not. Now I've been given this link um, or talking about this link in here. I've been given this link and apparently it says in here that it makes use of uh, Libi mobile device uh, .org, which is a real project and apparently looks like this, which uh, it's in Chinese, somehow makes, um, re resembles the Pangu jailbreak and gives you this iOS 10.3 jailbreak application. Well, the application does indeed exist. I've downloaded this and um, uh, it does look like this. So we're going to, to look into it to see what's going on. Now, I've been given this link on Twitter a couple days ago, but um, yeah, I decided to, you know, make some tests before um, showing it up so that I know what's going on. Now, this is uh, this is on member.jailbreakofficial.com and this webpage, but the jailbreakofficial.com looks like this, which is extremely skeptical because it asks you to buy now with PayPal. We already know what this means, so, um, yeah, I, I'm skeptical as hell. Anyways, this one is free, and if you click download in here, it's going to download a zip file, which doesn't work on a Mac, only works on Windows. So let's take a look. It says in here the claims. The compatibility, iPhone SE, uh, 6S, 6, 6S Plus, 5S, no iPhone 7, by the way. All your favorites. Anyways, uh, before we, we get into it, uh, I want to tell you something. If you're a subscriber of this channel, if you want to subscribe now, YouTube has changed a couple things in here. And when you subscribe, make sure after you press that, check this bell in here. There is a bell that once you press, it's going to show you these. You click send me all notifications and you can do the same for mobile. You can go on mobile, on YouTube applications, search my channel, and if you're subscribed, you're going to see the, um, the bell. Click on the bell and you're going to get notifications right away. This way you're going to stay in touch with everything that happens right when it happens and right when I push the video, not after it get old. So let's get into analyzing these. Anyways, I have already downloaded the content of it um, and I'm making this video to raise the awareness because it looks skeptical as hell, but at the same time, due to the fact that it says it uses the uh, Libi mobile device component, um, which is something real developed by a former jailbreaker, uh, it makes it look legit. So let's see what's going on. In order to, to do this, as I said, um, it has this file in here, which is jailbreak.exe, that I cannot open on my Mac. So in order to open it, I'm going to go in here and start my virtual box. Now, spoiler alert, this is most likely fake. Uh, even though it looks quite cool, it looks quite real, it's most likely fake. But we're going to see whether it's also dangerous. So um, I'm starting my virtual machine because I do not want to risk my Windows computer. These things can be very, very dangerous. Keep that in mind. So I'm going to run Windows in this virtual machine. Uh, okay, control, control C to get my mouse back. Where's my mouse, by the way? That can't be good. Anyways, um, we're going to see what's going on with it and I'm gonna be back. Okay, so uh, my Windows computer has started and um, as you can see, I got the folder in here. The, the problem is that I had to create an image.iso containing it because for some reason it doesn't allow me to simply drag and drop, although I have already uh, activated that option in VirtualBox. So anyways, on Windows it does look like this, but uh, the file description is a couple question marks, <laughs> which is quite uh, strange. It implies that either I don't have the font that has been used in here, or it's just purposefully made with, you know, question marks. Anyways, I got an IPSW, which isn't fake, but it's an IPSW for iPhone 3GS, which is for iOS 6.1.6, just to test if this, you know, jailbreak tool has anything to do with IPSW verification or anything to do with a uh, Libi mobile device. So I'm going to navigate here on the computer and um, here on the local disk C to show you that I do not have libiMobile device installed. It's definitely not in here. 
So, uh, because it says it's a requirement of this jailbreak application. Let's open the jailbreak application. And I'm going to show you something strange that I discovered on it, which of course hinted the fact that it's definitely completely fake. So you should not try it. Although they, they try to simulate, as you can see, they try to simulate the Pangu jailbreak somehow with the Chinese writings and with the logo and the white application and so on. Uh, I cannot I cannot understand anything in here. Say something about iPhone. Says continue. Peculiarly enough, the continue button is in English. Anything else is in the uh, Chinese. Anyways, it says iOS 10 in here. So let's continue. Well, if we click continue, it's going to ask us asks us. It's going to ask us for iOS 10.0.1 IPSW. Well, that's strange. So um, it says iOS 10.3 on the web page, and now in here it says 10.0.1. Okay, I'm going to select the iOS 6. Point whatever. Okay, I'm going to go ahead in here and iOS 6. Okay, so it switches to something called modifying IPSW. Okay, so I'm going to wait to see whether something happens or whether there is any progress bar in here or whatever. Be right back. Got this bloody error in here which says RTF1 and SI diff and has what appears to be some shell code or something. Anyways, there are some hex values in here. So I'm gonna click OK and it closes. Wow. So yeah, it, it tries to increase a sort of progress bar, but it's definitely going very, very slow. It's been a couple minutes and it only it only went like, you know, three three dots in there. So what I'm going to do is to open it again and click continue, select IPSW, but I'm not going to select anything. I'm going to click cancel. Yeah, exactly as I, uh, as I thought, it goes into here on modifying IPSW file into the progress bar, which is definitely something uh, that tells us it's completely bullshit and completely fake because as you can see, it has absolutely nothing to do with the uh, libiMobile device component. That is something real that they advertise on their website. And it also has nothing to do with anything related to iOS. It's just a shell or just a, you know, a program made to look like something related to jailbreaks and stuff. But it has nothing, no kind of verification and let alone any kind of jailbreaks. So if you come across this link, as you can see, I, I can no longer close it. Yeah, it, it tries to increase the progress bar to patch the IPSW to modify it, but which IPSW? Because it didn't select anything. So yeah, it's definitely a huge fake. If you come across it, do not fall for it. I know it looks promising due to the um, Libai mobile device components and the screenshots in here looking quite like Pangu. I mean, they, they really scrapped off Pangu in here. And um, yeah, it says restoring in here. But as you can see, even their, even their application only has a couple uh, lines in here of progress bar. So um, yeah, this is, uh, this is pretty much fake. It says to disable find my iPhone and touch ID. What? Why? And put it in the airplane mode. Well, that doesn't really make sense. Only if you install the app. Anyways, there, there is completely nothing to look at in here. It's completely fake. So um, yeah, for those of you who sent me this link, it's no, no. So jailbreak, uh, jailbreak minus official .com. Nope, definitely uh, a fake jailbreak. So do not fall for it. There is currently a jailbreak for iOS 10.3.2 and iOS 11 beta 2 that has been demoed, a real one from Keenlab. We discussed